the tenth Sunday after Pentecost, Year B, from the Epistle to the Ephesians. There is one body and one spirit, just as you were called to the one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in all. In the name of that same Lord, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our readings for this week ask us to consider our own sinfulness from the perspective not of the perpetrator or the victim, but of one to whom has been given responsibility for defending the defenseless against injustice. David's righteous indignation on behalf of the poor man of Nathan's account is what allows him to recognize the reality, or let's face it, just a portion of the reality, of the sins he's committed. Psalm 5 captures the anguish of that recognition and provides us a portrait of the process of coming to terms with knowing our transgressions only too well and of having our sin always before us. In our gospel, everyone is heading the wrong way, seeking the life-saving filling of their bellies rather than the spiritual reality of the bread of God which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Part of that spiritual reality is danger. We are in danger as soon as we step behind the mirror of self-absorption that shields us from recognition of our adversary's experience of the world. But we are neither alone nor defenseless in that danger, because our God descended into the lower parts of the earth, into human life, and through human death. Our God was born, grew into maturity, left home, was baptized into repentance, and struggled with the accuser in the wilderness. When we say together on every baptismal feast that there is one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, we proclaim our solidarity with everyone in this wilderness of recognition. This too is dangerous because it means letting go of the security of thinking of ourselves as children, tossed to and fro and blown about by every wind of doctrine, by people's trickery, by their craftiness and deceitful scheming, or by whatever other purposes we project upon those other folks we think of as our oppressors. We come to maturity when we can recognize that we are all in this life together, and our God gives us himself, the bread of life, is right here in this mess with all of us. In the name of that God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.